Rodham Spill here. Today we're going to do a review of Transformers Prime Master Liege Maximo. <clears throat> First we'll look at the package. There is Liege Maximo. You've got the Prime Master. You've got his claw. <clears throat> and you've got the Pretender Shell. It is Prime Master Liege Maximo. You have the art on the front. Transformers down the side. And on the back you have <clears throat> Skullgrin decoy armor. Liege Maximo. He's a trickster. And choose your prime. The other one is the Vector Prime Time Traveler. And what's neat on this is you actually have a picture of what the Prime Master looks like on the back of the packaging. They got a cute little window. And that is all. <clears throat> we already opened them up. So now to look at the actual figure. <clears throat> there is Liege Maximo. And first you just want to build them real quick. You just pop that on the back. It's a little friction. <clears throat> and there is Liege Maximo. First we'll look at the tight the Prime Master. Now, <clears throat> these are the same as the Tight Masters, except they don't have the screw. They have a, a rivet in the bottom or in the stomach. Let's see, there you have the head. There is the back of the Prime Master. And what we'll do is we'll bring in Mindwipe and Vorath to compare. Very basic, same as the Titan Master, except instead of the face on the back, you have the Prime logo. <clears throat> and now look, articulation-wise for this little guy, his arm goes up 180. Not all of them do. You've got the waist, and you've got the knee where he could sit down. Uh, head is on a 360. Let's look at him real close. You get the face. You got some nice detailing. There's his prime uh, symbol on the back. <clears throat> and that is Liege Maximo. And now we'll look at the Pretender Armor. Skullgrin. His articulation is <clears throat> 360 in the arms. This can move up. And you got the 5mm weapons port on the back. And he opens up. And you got some nice, nice detailing in there. You got some nice detailing in there. <clears throat> and the gimmick for these is the old pretender shell gimmick. Where you place the Prime Master in the shell. Lock it up. And there you have. Or... What you want to do, <clears throat> pull this out. Oops. Normally the other ones become a gun. At the first wave, you got Micronus and Vector Prime. This guy becomes a claw. And then you pull the port around. And now he's a claw. And for the Power Master, you want to power him up. You just fold these in half. <clears throat> now it's got the pegs right there for the peg holes in the feet. You slide them in there. It's got a place to rest the head. And that is the weapon mode. All charged up with the power of Liege Maximo. Now, as I said before, <clears throat> we'll take Vorath with Mind Wipe. And we'll transform him. And we'll stick him on the weapon. And there you got Mind Wipe's face. And also, since they are compatible, you can put him in there, close it up. And <clears throat> that is how they're all interchangeable. Now, there is Liege Maximo. <clears throat> We're going to bring in his brothers, Micronus. <clears throat> And Vector Prime, which we have separate reviews on these guys. There is Vector Prime. There is Micronus. <clears throat> now, here's how they compose to a, compared to a Legends class slash, also Wave 1, of Power of the Primes. 
<clears throat> and then we'll do Slug, Wave 1 Dinobot, Power of the Primes. <clears throat> and we're going to do Dreadwind, also Wave 1, Power of the Primes. Now, <clears throat> the prop, now, this is what the gimmick is. All your deluxe figures come with a power armor. So, if you transform the Power Master, or Prime Master, yeah, put him in there, power armor, and this is Slug. <clears throat> now, Slug has the power of the Trickster Prime, whatever that is. <clears throat> So now Slug's got the power of the Trickster Prime, and he can hold, and there is Slug, powered up by Liege Maximo, with the claw. And that is the whole gimmick of the power of the Primes. And as I said, you could also stick Mind Wipe's face. And there you go, there you got not my, yeah, my wipe. The bat. Uh, and that. <laughs> and then these are the little covers that go over the prime armor <clears throat> to fit that space. So there is Liege Maximo. And since, let's show, here's my wipe's body. Okay. <clears throat> What we're going to do is take Liege Maximo, stick them on the head. Some of these work backwards, some of these heads work forward. And there is, <laughs> we're really going to deck this guy out. And we'll put mine, what? there you go. So how about this? You've got Liege Maximo's. Liege Maximo as Mind Wipe's face. You got the decoy armor as the claw with Vorath powering it up. <laughs> it's kind of funky little face. But this is one of the few primes that actually looks like a face. And let's just put Mind Wipe back to normal. And there's Mind Wipe back to normal now. And that, and we'll just fold them up again, stick them in here. Now, some of the Titan Masters won't exactly fit real good in here due to the, the heads being bigger, but most of them I have no problem with. <clears throat> and then on the weapon, this is just, they call it a friction. You just slide in there. And over time, I think what this is going to do is loosen up. But the reason why you can take them off is because there is a peg there. And all the Titan Masters can hold their weapons. You got Legion Maximo can hold his claw. Micronus is a gun. And he can hold his weapon. And Vector Prime <clears throat> is also a single barreled gun and you snap that off and he can hold his weapon so not only are these guys weapons in their own right <clears throat> they can hold their own weapon and that is wave one and we'll just stick this guy back we'll stick this guy back now <clears throat> on these guys if you look at their face when you take the Titan Master out, they've got no face. And you can see a little holes in their side. So when you put the Titan Master in, <clears throat> see it fills in the red. Liege Maximo is the same way. Let's see. Oh, him you can't tell because he's completely closed up. So Liege Maximo is a little different than the other two. Here, I'll show you. You take Liege Maximo. Put him in Micronus. See, you'll see the pink on the side, and his face will be pink. But there, you can see him, the pink sticking through. And these are all interchangeables, too. 
But, <clears throat> yeah, let me, and that is, there is my Cronus' prime symbol. You can still use him as a face. It reminds me of Shockwave during Dark of the Moon. Let's see, and Vector Prime is... That's got no face at all. That's just design. So now these, <clears throat> these are actually three different gimmicks, if you want to call them. They are the Headmaster gimmick. They are the Target Master gimmick. And... You could even say they are Power Masters, because they power up the weapons like the old Power Masters. So I really give it a Hasbro for combining all these new, all these old aspects into the new toys. And this is a Pretender Shell. Normally the Pretender Shells were, I guess, almost Voyager-like size figures, where you take the figure out, they had Pretender Classics, you had Bumblebee, Starscream, Grimlock, and Jazz. And then you had other ones, and those robots would actually transform into their vehicles plus be pretender shells. But there you go. Liege Maximo, the Power of the Primes, uh, Prime Master. All right, check out my videos on everything you see here. We've got a Slug video. We've got a Dreadwind video. And we've got a Slash video. So the new power of the, the power of the prime lines coming out slowly. So make sure you come back and visit my channel, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends and come back for all the reviews. This is Rodmus Bill saying until all are one, till all are one.